right, what's your top five? Top five game? Clevelander moments for wow. me. Some okay. of these are in show. Some of these are out of show. But just Clevelander moments for me. OLI. Mm-hmm. The early club segments. When we brought in, like, the curtain. What, what school did, like, the curtain reveal? ASU. Forks up, baby. We did that for, like, months where we would have mascots come in. We had Greg Cody appear, even though it was a Friday. The Clevelander girls. The Clevelander girls oh, would come up. It was a time. time. Was. My dad was dancing. Uh, yeah. well, and C. Martin also. What a time that was. Second OLI. This could be way higher, but Mike used this on one of his lists early in the week, so I don't want to, you know, double up on that. The Josh Norman hug. It just has to be on. It has to be on everyone's list. It was just. It's now. Let me ask you guys a question. Do you think it was made funnier by the fact that it was security cam footage and not like an actual camera? Yes. Well, it was because I believe like Josh just came up and said. Dan gave me, like, how did we learn of the hug? Because we went back and we were like, we got to see this thing. I forget who said. No, there said... were people around who saw it and said it was awkward, <laughs> yeah, including Josh Norman, who was made uncomfortable by it. Ah, uh, classic times. Number five, Dan thinking Amin was a Clevelander waiter the first oh. time he met him. Ah, uh, he took my number one. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought Diana Rossini was somebody who worked in Deportes, too. I did when she was here. I didn't recognize her either. Oh, that was just, that was just, I he just, like, walked, I mean, did you, what was your thought there when he did that? Well, he didn't, he never addressed me. Like, what happened was I was sitting in this little, the place where I Lewis thought it sits. was weird that a Clevelander waiter was having a his sandwich. lunch yeah. in our setting. I did think that was weird. So for, for, for the listeners, before you enter the actual studio area, there's a little kind of ante room. Where Lewis actually saddest sits. Saddest green room in the history of green. Well, it used that, to be. Is that, that used to be the green that room? That used to be our green oh room. Oh, my God. So I, I was someone, I, I think Mike was like, you know, you want a sandwich? Because I, I came early because I thought it was like an ESPN show where we have to do a pre-show meeting. And they didn't do any of that stuff around here. <laughs> exactly. And so Mike You're was cool. like, do you want lunch or something? I'm like, sure. So I ordered like a turkey sandwich and I'm eating it right there. And Dan walks in and walks right by me. And I was like, wow, this Dan Levitard guy, he's all business. He's going straight for the studio. You had your back to yeah, us. Yeah I, was, yeah, I was sitting there. But I looked up, and you walked in, and you walked, you walked straight past me. And I was like, oh, I guess he's all business. And this was like 10 minutes before showtime. So God showed up like one minute before showtime. And then I hear Mike say, did you meet Amin? And Dan said, no, where is he? Number four. Number four, Super Bowl in Minnesota. Mina Kimes uh, doing a report from a zip line. Is that... Is that a Clevelander moment? Get to Brady with four is what it sounded like. <laughs> <laughs> you got sounded so much better. Oh, the oh, classic. So by, young. By the way, this top five brought to you by Miller Lite. 96 calories and 3.2 carbs per 12 ounces. Number three. Number three. This is a personal one. I don't even know if people remember this in here. We had a meeting once with uh, important ESPN suits at Naked Taco about a block away. <laughs> and uh, oh, on our no, way over no, there. No, no. And on our way over there. <laughs> I stumbled and tripped over like a like you know the, the the side of the roadway, and I fell down. And I'm like, okay, this is fun, not that embarrassing. And as I'm like, all right, everyone, all the suits saw it, so we stand up and we start walking, continuing. No, no, we don't stand up. You stand. Well, up. we all stood up and we start walking towards <laughs> Naked Taco. And I realize as we're walking now, I have a gigantic tear in my pants right in the crotchal region. <laughs> So now I have to sit down at this big, like literally the most important people at ESPN. And it's like, I'm not going to. So I have to hide an, a gigantic tear in my shorts the entire lunch. Did you we cross your legs? I did. Luckily, it was not like a high top. So like my legs weren't really exposed. I got in nice. We didn't actually, they didn't notice. I, we unveiled this the next day so on the air. But it was just the peak of embarrassment for me. So that's got to be on there for me. Number two. Number two is... The Greg Cody Tumor Hard Network Out. Oh. I just want to give you a sample of what Greg Cody sounded like, which set us all off in a panic, everyone except for Greg Cody, because he's <laughs> old and he's stubborn and he refuses to go to the doctor. 
So that's what you sounded like for the better half of a month now. Me, yeah. Dan, everyone. We told you repeatedly to go to the doctor. You ignored us. You finally uh, went to the doctor, and the results of your visit to the doctor were, were what? Yeah, after several tests, um, they found a tumor in my chest. Uh... It's Dan, Stu, and Greg Cody on ESPN Radio. <laughs> <laughs> hilarious. Who was that talking, by the way? <laughs> it was benign. Number one. It was a benign tumor. <laughs> <laughs> Not as funny. If it had been malignant. That's they found malignant. a tumor in my chest. Uh, He's down, Stu, and Greg Cody on ESPN Radio. I miss that so much. Number they found one. a tumor in my chest. Uh, it's Dan, Stu, and Greg Cody on ESPN Radio. Can you imagine someone who doesn't watch the show? I was so mad, bro. I, I love Greg Cody. I was so mad at you. They found a tumor in my chest. Uh, it's Dan, Stu, and Greg Cody on ESPN Radio. Great work by Stu there. And us in the back, because we see the clock coming down. We're like, oh, no, this is not gone as planned. <laughs> And I had to click the button, so that didn't feel great. That was Stu? We all learned of the tumor together, I think, uh, as well. He's Dan, Stu, and Greg Cody on ESPN Radio. <laughs> number one. And number one, this is probably a top moment for everybody else, a horrifying moment for me, in the battery costume, down by the pool, <laughs> waving my little jazz hands as Dan berates a security oh, guard. No. Not berates, but just defends our honor. And uh, holy crap, was that a moment. I'm still mad first take coming in here and eating all the muffins downstairs while they were trying to charge you guys nine dollars for those muffins i'm mad at everybody about that still